Hello, and welcome to the PC America Reseller Training Series. My name is Adam Mora, and I'm the sales engineer that will be conducting today's training. Today, we're going to be discussing Styles Matrix. Let's get started. When you first click on the software, this brings you into your login screen. In your login screen, you have three options at the top of the screen, Manager, Help, and Exit. Manager allows you to make any kinds of back office changes or any adjustments that need to be made in the software. Help stores all of our FAQ knowledge, so if you're struggling with any aspect of the software, you can refer to our help menu. Exit allows you to exit out of the software. <coughs> now we're going to click on Manager. When you click on Manager, you have a defaulted password and ID that you're prompted. The default password on the top is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and at the bottom is 01. <clears throat> zero one. Hit OK. This will bring us into our manager screen. We're now going to click on number five, administrative, letter D, Styles Matrix. Now this is the Styles Matrix screen. This is the screen that allows you to add all your different shirts, pants, shoes, hats, any kind of clothing into the system by size and color. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to create a department called T-shirts and then we'll create a matrix all together. So we're going to exit out of here, and we're going to click on number five, administrative, letter B, department maintenance. So let's hit add department at the bottom of the screen. Add department, and we're going to call this T-shirt. I'm now going to hit save. Your department has been added, would you like to add another? No. We're not going to add another department, but now we have a department just for our t-shirts. <clears throat> we're now going to exit out of department maintenance, and we're going to go back into Styles Matrix. Again, number five, administrative, letter D, Styles Matrix. We're now going to hit Add Style at the bottom of the screen. We're going to call this style Custom T. We're now going to hit Enter. <clears throat> and we're also going to select a department that we just created called T-shirts. So let's say our cost to make this T-shirt is about $10. But we're going to be charging $25 for the T-shirt. We're also going to charge tax one on that T-shirt. <clears throat> I can also select my vendor so I can order more of this product if I need to. So I'm going to hit the drop down arrow. I'm going to select my vendor called T-Shirt Bums. And as you can see, my X and Y dimension is size and color. I'm now going to hit save. So now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm now going to start adding all my different sizes and colors into this matrix for the T-Shirt I just created, Custom T. So I'm going to go to in stock matrix, and now I'm going to start adding all my different sizes and colors. So add size, we're going to say small, let's also do a medium, <clears throat> let's do a large, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do an XL. And one more size. We'll do a double XL. Now we're going to add our different colors into the system for our different sizes. So now we're going to do add color. So now we can do green. Do red. <clears throat> Let's do black. And we'll do a white t shirt as well. So now we've added all, our, all of our colors of our t shirts and the different sizes of our t shirts. So now we can enter how many we have in stock of each one of these. So we're going to hit Save Changes. 
All right, and now we're going to start entering how many we have of each of these t-shirts. So let's say you want to have maybe five small green t-shirts. For the green, we'll have two mediums. And we'll do the, the same all the way across the board for the green. And for red, let's say we want to have five of each. All I'm doing is I'm clicking, double clicking into the field and selecting the number of how many I have in stock of these t-shirts. This way, I don't have to create a shirt for each individual size and color. It's automatically going to create these shirts into my inventory. Saves you a lot of time and work. And again, all I'm doing is <clears throat> double clicking into the field and setting how many I have of each of these shirts. Now going to hit save changes. Now you're on order matrix. This is where you would come to order more of your shirts. So if you know that you're out of stock, this is where you can order more of your, more of your shirts and it will automatically create a purchase order if you have the item associated with a vendor. So now that we've created all of our different colors and our sizes of our shirts, let's take a look at our inventory and see what it looks like now. So we're going to hit save changes. We're going to exit out of here. We're now going to click on number 5, Administrative, and go to letter A, Inventory and Maintenance. We're now going to hit our Look Up button, and we're going to look up our T-shirt department. There it is, T-shirts. And it shows you all of the different shirts that I've added into stock. Matrix makes it very easy for adding clothing, uh, any kind of uh, shoes, pants, hats, anything like that into the system very easily as opposed to going in here and creating all of these items individually. Okay, it automatically auto-generates auto the item number and description for those items. So it saves you a lot of work. Now take a look, let's go take a look and see what it looks like on our invoice screen. So let's cancel out of here. Let's hit save. Let's exit out of here exit out of here. Now we're going to log into our invoice screen. 01 is the ID and the password is admin. A-D-M-I-N. Enter. I'm not going to hit TS lookup. I'm not going to scroll down until I see my t-shirt department. And there it is. And here's all the different t-shirts that I've created into the system. Very easy in how Styles Matrix works. going to wrap up this training with backing up the database because as I mentioned it is very important to back up the database so I'm just going to hit this X button here just to go back to our login screen and I'm going to click on file database maintenance backup database now backing up your database is very easy there's no reason why there's no reason why a backup should not be made for you know there's no reason it's so easy to do and we also recommend making a backup to an external hard drive or a flash drive or even off-site. Again, you're going to click on Database Maintenance, Backup Database. Now, it is recommended to make a backup after, after you've done your credit card settlement because this way you'll have the most recent information and you don't have to worry about losing any information if your system goes down for any reason. Again, it's very painful to start from scratch if you do not have any, any of these backups made. So again make your backups. So database maintenance, backup database, we're going to type in our password on the top again, admin on the top, and zero one at the bottom. As I said, you know, it's recommended to make a credit card settlement or end of day before running your backup. So just keep in mind this is why you're getting this prompt. 
I'm just going to hit yes just to overwrite because I like to make multiple backups throughout the day. So I'm going to hit yes so I can at least have a fresh backup. I'm going to call the backup today's date, 7-9-2013. I'm also going to give it a timestamp because, as I said, I like to make multiple backups throughout the day. So 9-52 a.m. Now I'm going to select my desktop because I do not have an external or external hard drive or flash drive attached to the computer. But later on, when I have my external or hard, my external hard drive, I'll be able to attach it and then drag it onto my hard drive later on. So I'll select my desktop, hit save. It's going to take a couple seconds, and your database is now backed up. Now this concludes our training on Styles Matrix. I hope you enjoyed the training. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.